Hi, this is the second tutorial in my series on solving mod equations. And what I'm going to do is show you how we can solve equations of this form where we've got the mod of some function of x is greater than or less than the mod of another function of x. And there's two methods that we can do this. We can do this either by sketching or by calculation and I'll show you both of these methods in this tutorial. Well, first of all, we'll look at the sketching method. And what we do is we just obviously draw some axes. So we'll have these as the x and y axes. So just come across here. That'd be the x axis, y axis. And we look at the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. Now, the graph of y equals 2x minus 3 is going to be a straight line graph, linear. It's going to have a gradient of 2 and a y-intercept of minus 3. So in other words, it would be a line coming straight down through here at negative 3. But because we've got the mod around it, any negative values become positive. So our graph is going to look something like this. Coming down here, it would have gone through the minus 3, but it's reflected back and it comes up through the plus 3. So this is 3 here, OK? This value, if you want to know what it is, it's where 2x minus 3 equals 0, which will be at 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. So this is the graph, then, of y equals the mod of 2x minus 3. Now we need to draw the graph of y equals x plus 3 and then mod that. So if it didn't have the mod, y equals x plus 3, again, would be a straight line graph. Going through the 3 here, a gradient of 1, less than the 2, so it would be a line coming down something like this. Let's say we come through here, down like that, and then as soon as we get to this point, which will be at minus 3, by the way, because it's when this equals 0. Let's just mark that in as minus 3. It gets reflected back out like so. OK? Not got the same kind of gradient as this one. All right? It's not as steep. So we have got two points of intersection with the blue graph and the red graph. This point here, which we'll call A, and we've got this point here, which we'll call B. Now we need to find these points A and B. I know A seems obvious, it's where x is 0, but I'm still going to show you how you would do it just in case it wasn't 0, just so you get the hang of the, uh, hang of the method. We're going to start with B though first, okay? just purely because I think it's possibly the easiest, but it's up to you which one you take. So we'll look at B. Now when it comes to finding the point B, we want the intersection of the red graph and the blue graph, but this part of the red graph. Now this part here was the positive value of this, the graph of 2x minus 3. Remember, if this was a line, it would have carried on down to the minus 3. So we're looking at 2x minus 3 equaling the blue graph here, this section down through here, the positive section of this, which would have been just x plus 3. And if we solve this by subtracting x from both sides and adding 3 to both sides, we get 2x take x gives us x, and 3 plus another 3 gives us 6. So x equals 6. This point straight down here, let's just mark it in. If we were to come down here, this point here would be at x equals 6. Now for a, if we were looking at A, let's just put it here, OK? If we're looking at A, then we would want the intersection of this line here with this line here. Well, we already know that this blue line is x plus 3. And now, what about this section here? Well, it's the negative version of 2x minus 3. In other words, minus 2x plus 3. And if we were to solve for this, we would say add 2x to both sides, and that would give us 
3x equals, and we'd subtract 3 from both sides, leaving us with 0. And that comes out, if we divide by 3, x equaling 0, which is, okay, what we knew for a, but that's basically how you'd go about working it out. Now that we've got our points a and b, okay, we'll put a naught here. To solve something like this, graphically, we're looking for where the graph of 2x minus 3, the mod of it, is above, greater than, above the graph of the mod of x plus 3. Where do we see the red graph for y values above the blue graph? Well, clearly, it's this section here, all the y values here, are much higher than this section of blue values here. So, we see that it would be x is less than 0. So just mark that in. But also, the red graph is above the blue graph for values of x beyond 6. You can see all the y values, this graph would be above the blue graph here. So we've got an or situation where x would be more than 6. So that's how you can go about sketching the graph and deriving a solution to that inequality. It's worth noting, by the way, let's just put this in, that if we had the same question, except instead of it being greater than, it was less than the mod of x plus 3, we would do exactly the same thing as we did here, work out our values where they intersect, we'd arrive at the same values, but we'll be now looking at where the red graph was below the blue graph for various y values. And you can see it's this section in here but for values of x between 0 and 6. So if we had this, then the solution would be that x lies between 0 and 6. So it's well worth just trying to note that point there. We'll just kind of put it in this section here. Okay? Now I did say that you could solve this by sketching. You can also do it by another method and that is calculation. So let's just put calculation here and I'll show you how we can do it. Now both of these values, because they're modded, okay, they're going to be both positive. And if you've got both values are positive, you can use a squaring method. So we could say that 2x minus 3, all squared, is going to be greater than x plus 3, all squared. As I say, we can only do that because the quantities here are both positive. Now, if we square this out, what are we going to get? Well, we get 2x all squared, which is 4x squared. Then we get 2x times minus 3, which is minus 6x. And we get it again, which is going to be minus 12x. And then minus 3 all squared is plus 9. And that's going to be greater than x squared here, plus 3x, and another 3x, that would be 6x. And then square the last term, plus 3 squared is plus 9. And if we now rearrange this, We've got a quadratic inequality, so we need to make sure that we rearrange this and make it greater than zero. So we get 3x squared, if we take x from both sides, take 6x from both sides, so you get minus 12x minus 6x, which is minus 18x, and then 9 minus the 9, well, that's going to leave us with zero. So we've got that being greater than zero. Now, I notice that each term's divisible by 3. It's got a common factor of 3. So might as well take advantage of that and divide through by 3. So we get x squared minus 6x is greater than 0. We'll just come down here, okay, to finish this off. Now, with our quadratic inequality, we can factorize this. So we could pull out x as a common factor and we've got x minus 6 in the bracket here, and that's greater than 0. 
So with quadratic inequalities we now find the critical values, CVs we'll call them. That's the values of x which make this equal 0. And that would be x is 0 or x is 6. If you're unfamiliar with this section, just go back on the website, look under solving quadratic inequalities and it will show you about these critical values. Anyway, so we've got our critical values of 0 and 6 and then I'd want to draw a sketch graph of, let's just mark in some axes, a sketch graph of y equals x squared minus 6x or x bracket x minus 6. Either way it's the same curve. So we'll just write it as x bracket x minus 6. And this graph will cut the x-axis at these critical values, 0 and 6. So if we mark that in as 0 and that as 6, we've got a parabola, a positive u-shaped parabola. So we'll come down through here and back up through what would be the 6. And we're looking in this example where that parabola, where the y values are greater than 0. And can you see that the y values are greater than 0 on this stretch and this stretch? In other words, for x values less than 0 or x values greater than 6. We'll just mark them in that way and that way out there. Okay? So we can finish the question off by saying that therefore x is less than 0 or x is greater than 6. And just to say that again if our inequality had been a less than we could have done it by calculation this would have been a less than, less than here, less than here, less than here, less than here still arrived at the same critical values but we'll be looking for where y was less than 0 that's below the x-axis here and it would be between 0 and 6 so we'd end up with this version here. Okay well I hope that's given you some idea then of how to solve mod inequalities where we've got function of x on both sides okay whether it be by sketching or calculation now in the next tutorial what I want to do is again extend this idea where we've got a function of x in one mod and a function of x on the other side but not in a mod. So I hope you'll have a look at that because it is handled slightly differently.